everyone. Uh, today we're going to be tying a purple wiggle. Um, starting on a real small hook, uh, fire hole 315 number 16, using some fulling mill beads. These are split tungsten uh, metallic purple. And for the body, uh, we're going to be using a hairline product here, uh, Midge Diamond Braid in green. Super flashy. Also tying in the uh, new Semperfly uh, tinsel, which looks great underwater. I'm gonna tie this into the bend, tie it back. I'm gonna clip this tail off, try to leave about uh, one or two mils at the end of that, just for a little tail, a little bit of extra flash. I'm gonna coat this whole thing in UV resin. You can see here the tinsel broke on top of the hook there, but uh, that's not gonna be a problem. We're gonna cover that up. Always make sure you get the tops and the bottoms on these things. It's, uh, you know, you really don't need a lot. You just, uh, for whatever reason, that UV stuff really picks up whatever the undercoating is and kind of magnifies it. Okay, next thing that I'm gonna use is thread zap here, just to show you how to use this. Uh, these micro braids are, you know, just a plastic weave, and when you cut them, they can fray a lot. So I'll bring this up here. See how the end is all frayed? This little device is awesome. I found this, I saw it on another channel, and uh, with all these little caddis things that I tie, uh, heck, for 10 bucks, it was a good investment. All right, we're gonna tie this on the top of the hook here, probably about, uh, about the length of the shank of the hook, a little bit of an overlay. Um, you wanna make sure that this stays on top of the hook and uh, can tie this in a little bit tighter on the tips here to create a little bump that we can kind of tie stuff in there at the end. Uh, clip this off, get your thread zap or your lighter, clean up that, that spot here so that it, uh, you can use it on the next fly. Now, next thing here is organza ribbon. Um, been playing around with this a lot and uh, Takes a little bit of getting used to because it can twist. We're gonna glue this uh, thorax down first. I normally just put a little bit of drop of glue on it, put it underneath and hold it down. As you extract the needle, everything will stay right on top there and kind of give it that little curve that you want. Now for this organza, you kind of have to tie it um, upside down because we're going to be wrapping this in backwards. So we want the points down when we tie this in. And I always leave a little tag there just to make it uh, a little bit easier to catch. And I'll wrap back one or two things and we want to use the bead to try to splay out, you know, these little fibers on the organza. Only a couple wraps of this is more than enough. All you need is that little bit of an impression, but you can see that it creates a nice little collar there also. Um, like I said, I'm just messing around with this organza and starting to find more and more uses for it. For something like this, little legs on nymphs and uh, I have another pattern that I'm working on called a fluger that uh, is going to show you that too. So I'm just going to tie this off, cut it off.
And there's your purple wiggle. I'm gonna try to burn a couple of these little fibers off here. This is, that's another thing with that device, that thread burner. Thanks for watching guys. I will have something for you soon. And uh, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.